G'day guys, Dave here from Boss Aluminium. Today we're here to take a look at a Sandy Torp 79 build that we've just completed. Basically going to take you through a, a run through of what we've done and how we've built the vehicle. So we're going to take a, a look at the front of the car first. What we've done is fitted the ARB bar and side rails in their new uh, matte black finish. We've also opted for the intensities and a worn Xeon 12,000 pound winch wireless. So it's the platinum version, GME stubby aerial, um, which is you know really good for more mountainous terrain, um, and it, it still gets a, a long enough distance. You know if you can see the car, generally you can still hear people. So under here we've got the ARB recovery point, and further back is the uh, Brown Davis radiator um, protection. So one of the other things that the customers required is a, a power upgrade. Um, because you know the standard form 79s go okay, but definitely um, adding an aftermarket um, power upgrade is a, a great way to improve power and economy. So we've opted for the Safari system. Um, we're going to take a look. I'll just pop the bonnet and show you that. So here you can see the um, Safari Armax unit, nice and compact and neat. We've also got the Safari Armax snorkel, which is the, the big banger, the four inch one. And it's also got the heavy duty upgraded clutch as well um, to handle the extra power and um, you know requirements for towing for the customer. So over this side, we've got the um, dual battery, which is charged off the main battery from the uh, Red Arc BC DC1225. The customer wanted this so that he's got an auxiliary battery that can uh, you know, jumpstart his front one if he need, needs, and also um, basically intermittently hook them together so that you know if he needs uh, more winching power, he's gonna have that supply there. One of the other things we've done is wrap the bonnet in a matte black. And the main reason for that is the reflection from the, the light bar on the roof rack. It certainly is a, a, a good, good thing to do because those, those roof light bars can throw so much light out that it reflects off your bonnet and it becomes so annoying while you're driving. So the customer also wanted the best towing mirrors on the market. So we've opted for the Clearview towing mirror. It's got the indicator on the outside, their electric mirror. So what we're doing is running the, the Mickey Thompson ATZs, an all-terrain tyre, and the ROH octagon rims. And as the suspension system is the ARB Old Man Emu setup uh, with a 3950 GBM upgrade as well, all done pre-registration under their second stage. Um, as part of that, we've got the, the Cat 6 indicator here as part of the, the GBM package. The roof rack is a Rhino Pioneer platform with the side rails which mounts the 150 Red Arc solar panel up the top and also we've gone with the steady slimline floodlights because they've got a really nice spread and they're, they're really good for camping and setting up. You turn them on and they um, throw out a heap of light which is switched from the uh, centre console in the, in the roof. So one of the other requirements of the customer was uh, extra fuel. Um, and to do this, we've opted for the Brown Davis uh, auxiliary tanks. So we've got the 110 litre underbody here to keep the weight nice and low and separate. And then we've also got the rear 185 litre tank. So a total of 295 litres of fuel. So his remote capability of touring is, is gonna be massive. That system's very simple. It has a gauge inside, which we'll show you. And then just basically, a switch that flicks between main and auxiliary because the the fuel pump is um, under the bonnet so it's just a matter of selecting between the two tanks. So now we're going to talk tray and canopy and what we have here is a, a tray and canopy out of the M-Spec range which is a, a range that we've released over the last 12 months basically. Essentially a fully modular system meaning that you can start off with either a basic tray or basic canopy and build it up as you like, or you can choose from the packages that we have on offer. The ones that we've we've designed and built that you know we've been doing for a long time and we know what works. So out of the M-Spec range, this is actually an M3 tray uh, with upgraded one-piece uh, flared guards. So in an M3 package, this is a full tray with a headboard. It comes standard with tray sides. Um, you got sockets here as well for a rear bar. If you ever wanted to take your canopy off, you can. Um, and it, it runs the two underbodies and a full length under tray draw. So that's, that's basically what an M3 is. To go to an M4, you shorten your draw 
and you get a 70 litre water tank. The fuel filler for the 79 is here and then with the auxiliary one we've, we've put it up the front as well. So the underbody, basically we've got a compressor mounted in there, there's plenty of room. Three point locks is basically what we do on all our, our boxes anyway and the reason being, which I've explained before, is you get that three point ceiling, so uh, locking, so it locks in the centre and out to your two sides, so it's, it's very secure. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the rear drawer. So, what we do um, when we have a tabletop, we don't put it on gas struts. We've done every which way you can imagine over the years, gas struts, drawers, all sorts of things. Um, sometimes keeping it simple is best. And that's exactly what we've done here. We've got a tabletop on here that's basically you can move backwards and forwards, take it off to access the whole thing, um, which is really good for the longer gear. And the reason we don't run gas struts is essentially because if you do have a gas, str gas strut mounted lid, you, the only way you can open it is like that. And if you need to get in, all your gear and everything's just gonna slide off. So when you got stuff on this, you can literally get it out of your way. Um, they're awesome as a, a kitchen bench or even, you know, like putting a Weber on there or a barbecue. It's a, a really great feature. Out the back, we've got a heavy duty uh, folding ladder on the back with nice big heavy duty stainless steel catches on here that um, they can be padlocked if you like. It's nylon bushed, so it's nice and smooth when it, when it comes down. And it's also got tread plate on there to um, give you a little bit of extra grip. And if you've got muddy boots, it's not gonna trowel anything. Uh, extremely strong, so. <laughs> takes my weight no worries uh, there's a handy platform up the top here that you can stand on so you don't have to put your foot through onto the tires uh, they're a great feature for um, people who need to tie off on the roof or get up there or even climb up into your rooftop tent uh, it's a, a secure way to do it rubber stops up here <laughs> and that's the ladder all right um, next we've got the adjustable spare wheel mounts on here so basically these uh, spare wheel mounts are our low profile version, so they have the tire hard against the body. And the other thing is these, these could basically go from a 30 inch tire all up to a 37 um, because they're fully adjustable in height up and down. Um, and they also run a, a basically a 20 mil stainless threaded rod, which can be padlocked as well. And we've got a unique clipping system, which locks it in the back. Um, so people just can't come along and steal it. So up the top here, we've got camp lights. Now they're a swivel, so they can be basically moved, you know, left to right, up and down, um, basically giving you light wherever you need it, whether it's cooking on the back here or setting up camp. Uh, they're a great additional feature. Once again, we've got a Rhino platform on top of the canopy, basically meaning you can fit any of their accessories into that system. Um, you know, tie down hooks, Mack tracks, holders, all that sort of gear. We can also mount our rooftop tents straight to those. Uh, and off the side, we've got a Darchi 180 awning as well. The finish on this canopy, uh, the body is in a, a ripple black, which we run on all the M-Spec canopies, but the customer's opted for a two-pack finish on the doors because he wants to be able to buff them when he stretched them from driving through the bush. So maybe getting like a clear wrap or something like that might be a good option for him as well. One of the features with the canopy is the customer's opted for central locking for ease of use. So basically they're locked at the moment and we just press this, unlocked. It's that easy. Okay, so this is once again part of the M-Spec range. This is our three quarter M-Spec canopy. Now, M-Spec once again is fully modular. Uh, so what that means is that things bolt in, move out, um, you can move them around build it up from a budget build. So you can buy the canopy as an empty shell and you can buy components as you go and set it up the way you want. So one of the big advantages with that as well uh, is as, as time changes, people's needs change. Whether you're a tradesperson or someone camping, you might want to put something big in there at some point. And if the partitions are welded in or fixed in, that's it, you're not moving them. So this is essentially going to future-proof you uh, for the you know the lifetime of your canopy that it can change as your needs change and um, 
what we found over the years, that definitely does happen with some customers, so this is a, a way to future proof your purchase. The advantages with this system being modular is this, this drawer system and table module can be pulled out, it could be put on the other side, it could be put at the front, it could be mounted here. These fridge slides can be bolted into this section. We could remove this, we could put a 110 upright fridge in here, upright, you know, fridge freezer. Um, the, basically the options are endless. Um, we have travel buddy brackets that you can bolt in, you can have uh, you know, drawers over your fridge, depending what size fridge you got, you can move that shelf up and down. You can put that shelf on the other side, there's just an array of options that you can do. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a, a really awesome system. Draw table combo, so you've got a full bench here that you can prepare food on and cook. Um, we can also bring that out so you don't have to move your gear off here uh, when you want to get into your drawer and easily just slam latch back in. And that's the draw table combo. Customers opted for a Clearview 150 drop down fridge slide. It's a really good size, the 150, because it doesn't take up more than half of your canopy. Uh, so it's basically less than the width, half the width, and you know, less than half the width that way. Um, we've, we've had great success with fitting the Waco CFX 65 litres into these. We have quite heavy duty door stiffening. Um, one of the reasons for that is awesome sealing so it seals well and it also offers a huge amount of strength with a three-point locking system when the doors closed it's keeping the seals firm but it's also adding um, security because if someone pulls on one corner of the door it's pulling on the whole door that's the main reason for the stiffening um, we also have integrated in the adjustable gas strut mounts as well so the mounting point <coughs> here and here so what this means is that you know some guys are six foot six, some guys are five foot five, um, and everywhere in between. Uh, so we can actually adjust these doors depending on the height of the person, whether you might have a, an awning that you need to get past the door, and if it's set in stone, well then your door's going to hit it. So there's a uh, different reasons why you might might that might be at an advantage. Okay, so on the driver's side, we've got a large drawer module. Once again, this could be moved to that side, it could be taken out. Um, it's got the quick catch system on it, very simple and effective. One hand operation, you basically pull on it, you can open up, there's a ton of room in here, um, and then it's just as easy as going like that. Okay, so what we've got here is our PowerCore X module. So this can be bolted in, it can be taken out, it could be put in your caravan, it could be put in your four-wheel drive, it could be put in your boat, it's fully modular. It came about from basically, uh, we needed somewhere to put a battery, so a battery box was required. Then normally we'd have that running to a, like a, um, a power panel in the car. Um, so you'd need all the cable run, running to that. So what we've actually done is put the switching, the fuse box, outlets, the charger, the 200 amp hour battery in there, solar input, 12 volt out and in, there's one on the back for the fridge as well. And you can have up to 10 channels essentially coming out of this. Um, the 2000 watt Red Arc inverter, and it's all in one module. Um, so there's, there's some pretty big advantages to that. And it's all in a, a strong case with a shelf on top. We've got the option to have a full shelf with this. Yeah, it's just a, a really simple, clean way to keep all your power in one spot. One of the other features with this is the battery in here has a, uh, it's basically Bluetooth, so you connect, connect to it uh, via your phone and see what your, your battery's doing. So this is currently showing 99% state of charge and it's showing the, the discharge amperage is 1.9 amps, so that's because we've got the lights on. So it tells you, you know, basically your voltage of your battery, your current draw, your temperature, your amount of cycles. Um, it's a, a really simple way uh, keeping your battery system quite simple, but having all the features of some of the more um, advanced and you know, more complicated systems. So here we've got a solar input. So basically the solar panel at the moment is mounted to the roof of the um, cab on the Rhino rack. And say you were parked in shade or under a tree and you had a solar blanket, it's as easy as pulling that out 
and connecting your other blanket and putting it back into the sun wherever you need. So this is running the hardcore LED lighting as well, which is switched from the, the Powercore X unit. Um, basically there's a 450 long in the door and then a meter long up here in the body, which can be changed from orange to white just by pressing the button on there. So the orange is great for repelling insects. And the beauty of having the, the dimmer is you can turn it right down, um, which is really good when you're out in the middle of nowhere and there's literally no light. You don't want to be blinded by your, your canopy lights. One of the first things we usually do with the build is pull the interior out and put sound deadening in. Now, you can sort of hear how deep that sound is uh, and not tinny anymore. Um, one of the things with a standard 79 is you do get a lot of road noise and wind noise so by sound deadening the roof the floors the doors the inner skin the outer skin um, back walls you know everywhere um, it, it basically now you can have a phone conversation and the sound of your stereo is 10 times better um, and it's a probably a must do okay so inside we've got the um, department of interior uh, t console um, with the mesh pockets everywhere um, up here awesome for gopros sat phones uh, ipads pretty much anything you need to put up here um, there's charging points here for your passengers we've got awesome map lights which are really directional uh, you can have those on while you're driving and they don't shine in your eyes we've got the um, led at the rear here which can be set on a switch or open with the door it's got a couple of brightnesses which is just a touch and off and on so these are a really neat uh, console we've got all the switching here for the the lights um, you know out either side the uh, spotlights as well um, and also compressor uh, with you know a couple of extra switches there as he adds on accessories over time uh, we've got a, an accessory plug here as well if you want to run a HEMA map um, on your screen here or something you've got power there more power over here options to have a, a BMS screen over here. Uh, we've also gone for the uh, XRS GME UHF. Uh, so that's basically got a magnetic mounting on that and you know, easy to take on and off while you're driving. Doesn't have to go in a certain direction, can go up, down, straight in, whatever. That's a, a great option. We've also got the um, Department of Interior floor console with more switching available there. Uh, accessory sockets, uh, drink holders, cup holders, and a, a nice armrest too. Um, we will be putting uh, black duck canvas seat covers on this. Uh, they just haven't come in yet. So that'll be protecting the, the front and rear seats. And we've also opted for the HEMA version of the Alpine uh, system. It's an eight inch screen, so you still keep your hazard light and the uh, clock here, which has the temperature on, you know, uh, temperature on it, which is handy. Basically an Alpine system with upgraded uh, front speakers, 6.5s, uh, tweeters, and a sub box and subwoofer in the back as well on the uh, new door pods too, which give you a cup holder and somewhere to carry some more gear or maps or something like that as well. So behind the back seats, we got the department interior set up here. A uh, sub box and the amp all sits nicely on that back wall, making good use of that um, void in the back there. The Toe Pro Elite is just here, um, which is out of the way and in a, a really accessible spot as well. Also, there's the Brown Davis um, auxiliary tank gauge showing you how much fuel you've got. And it's as easy as this switch here from main to auxiliary tanks. Um, making everything neat and accessible. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. And if you need any more information, shoot us an email at Boss Aluminium or sales at bossaluminium.com.au or give us a call in the office and the sales team will help you out.